Hi, uh, my name is Mohammed Ragab Zidan. Uh, I'm from uh, third course, uh, group number one. Uh, thank you, Professor uh, Gugu, for inviting me. Uh, today I will talk about uh, treatment with CRISPR technology and treatment with antiretroviral drugs and the treatment with the combination between uh, of uh, CRISPR and uh, antiretroviral Yeah, uh, but uh, firstly, I will talk about, uh, I will give uh, brief information about uh, HIV life cycle uh, that based on treatment. Uh, firstly, uh, HIV bind with the um, CD4 cells by uh, receptors, the GP, uh, GP41 and GP120 uh, 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 with CD4 uh, receptors like uh, CCR5 and CCR5, we'll talk about it later. Um, then uh, it uh, fused with the cell membrane and um, release its genetic material. Uh, RNA, uh, RNA uh, converted to DNA using reverse transcriptase, and then DNA uh, go to nucleus and emerge with the DNA of the CD4 uh, cells using integrase enzyme. Uh, till this step, I will stop because uh, my tr that treatment will be based uh, on these uh, stages. Uh, firstly, I will talk about CRISPR. What's CRISPR technology? CRISPR technology uh, allows to edit uh, some uh, specific uh, sequence of DNA using Cas9 protein. So if we need to add a sequence of DNA to cell, uh, to cell um, genetic material or delete uh, some uh, sequence of DNA, you can, we can do it with uh, CRISPR Cas9 technology. Uh, actually, it's uh, developed by uh, the, uh, Professor Emmanuel and the Professor uh, Jennifer. Uh, they got Nobel last year. Uh, what's what's Cas9 uh, protein? Cas9 protein present only in prokaryote uh, cells in bacteria. Um, when when virus when virus attack the bacteria, uh, so bacterial cells they take uh, a copy of the, of a sequence and save it. And um, this uh, this copy we call it uh, uh, guide RNA. Guide RNA is carried on a protein called uh, Cas9. Okay, so when virus uh, re-attack the bacteria again, uh, protein Cas9 uh, tell him, I remember you, so uh, it go and uh, compare it. If it's same to the guide RNA, it cut it and uh, uh, stop the infection. So how can we uh, deliver uh, Cas9 to our, uh, our cells, the human cells, because uh, it's not present in eukaryote cells. So we can use uh, na lipid nanoparticles or liposomes or some uh, viruses, we can put it uh, inside it and uh, deliver it uh, to the cell. How we can use CRISPR in uh, HIV treatment? Uh, we can use, uh, we can uh, make uh, our uh, guide RNA in the lab in the laboratory uh, for specific uh, uh, genes of the HIV, like reverse transcriptase one, reverse transcriptase two, or, uh, um, uh, or GP41 uh, uh, gene and put the complementary uh, sequence of it on the um, uh, Cas9 and deliver it to the cell. So when, when, when Cas9 detect HIV, it will compare it. If it like the sequence uh, that's carried, it will uh, act as a Caesar, will cut the uh, sequences and then the infection will stop. Uh, second uh, family, we'll talk about it, antiretroviral drugs. Antiretroviral uh, drugs, ART, uh, six types. First type is fusion inhibitors. We, uh, we give the patient the drugs that uh, inhibit the fusion between uh, via HIV viral envelope and uh, CD uh, cell membrane. So HIV can't enter the cell and can't release genetic material. Uh, second one is CCR5 uh, inhibitors, our antagonists. It blocks the CCR, uh, C, uh, CCR5 uh, receptors uh, that located the, at the surface of CD4. So virus can't bind with it, so it can't uh, enter the cell. Uh, third one is uh, nucleotide uh, reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Uh, this family, um, we, we make a modified uh, nucleotide uh, and bind and uh, deliver it to the cell. When reverse transcriptase come and need to build another uh, DNA from RNA, bring this uh, nucleotide and bind it. And when bring another nucleotide, it can't bind with it. So the uh, the DNA will will not uh, completely uh, um, form it. Uh, 
Uh, fourth one is a non-nucleotide uh, re uh, re uh, reverse transcriptase inhibitors. This family directly inhibits reverse transcriptase uh, action. So no DNA will form it, uh, so no uh, HIV infection. Uh, fifth one is uh, integrase inhibitor. It in, uh, these families in, uh, inhibit the integrase uh, enzyme act activity. So um, DNA of, uh, virus of HIV can't bind with uh, or can't emerge or integrate with the DNA of CD4 cell. So it can't form uh, proviral DNA. Uh, last one is protease inhibitors. Protease inhibitors inhibit protease enzyme. Protease enzyme, um, uh, its function is cleave the polypeptide uh, chains to make um, proteins of HIV. So now we cannot form, uh, HIV cannot form new HIV uh, viruses. That's uh, that. Uh, what about uh, uh, ART uh, family. Uh, last, last method that we will talk, a treatment using the CRISPR and ART together. So we will attack the uh, HIV from uh, two sides. Uh, in uh, research uh, published in um, 20, uh, 2019, last uh, last year, before last year, uh, from Temple University by uh, doctor by professor called uh, Professor Khalil, uh, he's Iranian. Um, Twenty nine mice uh, are involved in this experiment. Uh, six mice uh, not uh, received any treatment, and six mice uh, received uh, received the CRISPR treatment only, and ten mice received the ART uh, treatment. And seven mice received the post uh, ART treatment and uh, CRISPR treatment. Uh, the result was a uh, result divided in two groups. Uh, Professor Khalil measured that uh, level of CD4 in, in blood and measured also uh, HIV genome in plasma in, uh, in blood. First group is the level uh, of uh, CD4 uh, cells. Animals that didn't receive any, uh, any treatment. Uh, they shown that less uh, CD4 cells, so HIV attacked it and destroyed it. Less than uh, six uh, six percent of CD4 cells. Animals that received uh, CRISPR only CD4 cells elevated till 15 percent. Animals that received uh, ART only CD4 uh, level reached 68 uh, percent. But animals that received both uh, ART and um, CRISPR the percent of CD4 reached 90%. Uh, HIV genome in, uh, in plasma, uh, when the animals that didn't receive any, uh, any treatment, the uh, HIV genome is high in plasma. But animals that uh, received uh, post-treatment HIV, uh, ART and CRISPR, they shown that no detectable RNA in plasma. Conclusion. Uh, CRISPR treatment has uh, effective treatment of, uh, of HIV, but when combined with ART, we can uh, get better uh, uh, results. Then now we can we can use only ART uh, more, uh, more than CRISPR uh, because it's better result. And uh, CRISPR uh, will not have like um, will not allow to use it in humans. But there is a Chinese doctor uh, who used it uh, in embryo. ART drugs uh, have several mechanisms for uh, HIV attacking, but you must take uh, these drugs uh, through all your life for ART drugs. ART, uh, when combined with uh, CRISPR, we can we will get high level of uh, CD4 and low level uh, and the low level of HIV RNA in plasma. We cannot use only one type uh, of ART because, uh, as I said, that we have six types of ART. We can use only we can't use only one type because HIV may be resistant to it. Uh, this is my references, and thank you for your attention and any questions.